Hey YouTube, Vinny M here and welcome to another video here on the channel. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing and first look at a hunting, outdoorsman, fishing style knife. This is the Marbles MR302 and it is made in China. Marbles at one time was made in the United States. It was a very high quality knife but like many, many of America's high quality companies, the name was bought by a company and then it was moved overseas for production. So this is not the same marbles you got way back when, but I hear their quality is still quite good. Now this knife right here can be purchased at a lot of different places, and typically the price range is gonna be from $19.99 to $25.99, depending on where you get it from. I got it from SmokyMountainKnifeWorks.com, and it was $19.99. Now what's cool about this knife is it's a stack tip or stacked leather, I should say, style knife. Just like the M3 fighting knives, the K-Bar knives, many of those World War II knives. So the reason I bought it was to use for reenacting. There are different kinds of impressions you can do reenacting that wouldn't have been given a combat knife. Things like medics very very early in the war uh, later medics did get issued knives but early in the war if they had a knife it was a private purchase so i needed a knife that looked the part i needed a knife that looked like an old school hunting knife and that's why i bought this so the box is an orange box with marbles on it quality product since 1898 but again it's not the same marbles that was around in 1898 Gives a write-up on the history of the company, has a QR code, has the model number and barcode on it, and that's about it. Interesting that it has a cancer and reproductive harm warning on it, not sure why. Usually you see that on fishing lures and such, but not knives, maybe some of the solder or something that was used in it. So in the box, very plain, Jane. The knife is wrapped in plastic. All right. So all you're getting is the knife and a leather sheath. Now something I was worried about was that it would have that on the blade. I looked at multiple, multiple pictures of this knife on different websites. Some of them showed it having that on the blade, others did not. For my purposes, I really need that to not be there. So I don't know if that's something that can be removed or not, but I'll have a look at that in a second. So, yeah, let's look at the knife first, then we'll look at the sheath. So it's a very high polished blade, has some oil on it from the factory. It does say marbles quality knives on it, has marbles right here at the base of the blade. That right there is what you would expect to see on an older knife and only that. So if I can get this off, I'll be in good shape. But I know some people won't care about this. Have a brass finger stop or guard. Leather stacked grip. Feels very nice. You can tell it's definitely real leather. Have a, a red and a black in there on both ends for some design. Then we have a high polished end cap or pommel uh, which mimics hunting knives of the World War II era, the 1940s, very, very well. Let's see. Balances really well. I'm shaky. I'm a shaky person. So it's hard for me to, to actually do that. But the balance points right about where the blade and the handle meet. Just a little down the handle, it appears. So that's nice. Uh, we'll look at the blade sharpness in just a second. We'll go to the sheath for a second. The sheath does appear to be actual leather. Uh, however, it's very, very thin. Looks like we have stitching, single stitch, holding it together with some brass rivets in it. It has a design on it. it says marbles, has some geese and a moose in a circle 
that is probably gonna fit I'm gonna say a two inch belt I'll actually measure it for you so the actual cut is two and a quarter uh, which means depending on how thick your belt is it'll probably fit right at a two inch belt single brass rivet holds on the retention loop which actually turns all the way around so if you wanted to switch which side it popped open from you could Chinese snaps it says YK Fung on it so definitely a Chinese snap feels okay though maybe a little loose a little looser than I would like but otherwise okay yeah so I mean I've seen worse especially at this price point so we'll go back to the knife uh, the blade has some knurling on the top for your thumb nice profile to the blade does rise a little bit before it peaks that's actually a pretty thick little piece right there on top probably adds some strength it says MR302 China on the other side no markings on the end feels good in the hand I have medium sized hands so uh, in a large person's hand a large hand uh, this would probably feel kind of small. So I cut the video off, experimented with something real quick, and now I'm back. You may notice the Marvel's logo is gone from this knife. Originally, this was something I was going to try to do after I made the video, but then I decided maybe there's someone else out there that doesn't like that logo and doesn't like how high polished this knife is, and maybe they want to know if it can be removed. So I did remove it off camera. You can see where it was, but it's very hard to tell. You have to hold it just right. I also made the pommel matte in color. And this did not affect the edge of the blade, what I did, because I put tape over it so that I couldn't accidentally hit the blade with the sandpaper and all I did was took the finest sandpaper that I had in my house I don't even know what it was but it said polishing uh, on the package and I just very lightly went over the blade like this very very lightly almost no pressure and then I just took the pommel and I just spun it in my hand like that and that got rid of all of the high shine on the pommel which I wasn't a fan of it got rid of some of the shine on the blade it's not as mirror as it was and it took that logo off so now I'm a, a lot more happier with this knife now that that logo is gone but of course that's only for my purposes because I need it to not look like it's modern in any way so now let's find out how it cuts because everyone's always concerned with that people always want to see a paper test and I'm not a fan of the paper test never have been but I'll do it because I know people want to see it So this is a really thin piece of paper. It does cut if you can get it started in this paper and pretty cleanly. Let's grab a piece of cardboard because it has a little bit more rigidity to it. Well, if I can get a piece of cardboard that'll fit in my camera space here. So pretty good. It's a it's a pretty sharp knife. Um, it's not as sharp as the other budget brand of knife that I use as a go-to. And that is a Swedish knife called a Maraknev. So I say that because this is kind of the knife I compare all other knives to. These are about 20 bucks. They're made in Sweden. They're an old school type of knife. This one is carbon steel. 
That's why it has some patina on it. And it's like eight years old. And I would say that this knife is about as sharp as the eight-year-old Maroc nib that's never been sharpened. And this thing is still pretty sharp by most standards. Here's a brand new modern handled Maroc nib knife. It's never really been used before. I don't think I've cut anything with it. And we'll just show you a comparison of how sharp this thing is. So it's not tearing at all. It's cleanly going right through this. These knives right here for a $15 knife, and actually the one that has the modern handle is only about 13 or 14, I can't remember. It's less than the uh, ones with the wooden handles. So these are 20, I think these are 15. But these knives right here are pretty much what I compare all other knives under $20 to. Because these are by far, and I've handled a lot of knives, the sharpest, highest quality, $20 and less knife you're ever going to see. So, compared to that, this isn't that far off. It's a little bit more dull. It's still sharper than a lot of knives in this price range that you get out of the box. I like it. It feels nice. It's got a good weight to it. I like the leather handles. Got that old school feel to it. I corrected the only things I didn't like about it, which were the logo and how shiny the pommel was. I think we're good to go now for my purposes. And ultimately, as always, the choice to purchase this will be yours. But I think if it's something that you're interested in, uh, the price is right. I think it can be sharpened quite a bit sharper than it actually is. I think it'll work for pretty much anything you want to use it for and not give you any problems. That's all I have for you guys. As always, like and subscribe and have a nice day.